Hello and welcome to the very first PM and Associates podcast. My name is Tiffany Smith. I am the Marketing and Communications Director here at PM and Associates. I'm Todd Morgan from the St. Louis office of PM and Associates Outside Sales. And we are so excited to begin our first podcast here at PM and Associates. Uh, PM and Associates, we are a manufacturer's representative agency, and we serve the commercial and residential plumbing, uh, fire protection, waterworks, water well, wastewater, and hydronic heat uh, throughout Indiana, Kentucky, Illinois, and Missouri. We are so excited today to welcome our very first guest, Matthew Price from Centrotherm. Welcome, Matthew. Welcome, Matthew. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for having me again. It's it's uh it is a pleasure and an honor to to be here on the PM uh, PM Radio kickoff hour. <laughs> kickoff hour. <laughs> I love it. We are so excited about Matthew being here, and Matthew is the marketing communications manager for Centrotherm, and he has written for several HVAC industry publications. He sits on the Hardy Marketing Council and co-hosts the Mechanical Room podcast with Mike Sakaris and Centrotherm's director of sales. He has also released four albums and plays instruments of all kinds, which I have been um, grateful enough to be able to hear, including the accordion. <laughs> With that introduction that Tiffany just gave you, I almost want to hear more about your music uh, yes. endeavors. Tell us real quick, Please, uh, you, yes. what instruments do you play? But, uh, yeah, banjo, mandolin, accordion, guitar, bass, synthesizer, piano, harmonica, Accordion. And, I, and I've seen your studio and it's, it is extremely impressive and he has it all set up and, you know, he's just in the center of this like, you know, instrument universe and he just That's goes awesome. from one to the next and it's amazing. You know, one of the things that Center Therm does very well, and we need to talk about the product so that our customers know exactly what we are talking about here. It's polypropylene yes. venting um, as opposed to using PVC for your venting and CPVC. Yeah. <laughs> Being said, can you, can you tell us a little bit? about Centrotherm, please. Absolutely. So, I mean, it all started in the 19th century when, you know, uh, no, it, truth be told, it is, it is uh, a, a hundred plus year old company. Actually, the the parent company, I hope I get this right, the, the parent company organization is celebrating the 125th anniversary this year, I want to say. Um, I, don't quote me on the math. I'm, I'm a words guy, not a numbers guy. Um, but there's a big anniversary coming up for our parent company. So if you go all the way back to, you know, the uh, donkeys and carts time, that's really when the whole thing got started. But for us in, in North America, um, 2009, 2010, uh, Martin Varvla, a uh, an investor and a a legend, tr truly a legend in in the HVAC space. Uh, a guy who has has pioneered and many companies um, brought polypropylene to the states. Basically, it had never been done before. It had been um, in effect two decades, maybe or so, in, in in Europe already. Europe tends to be a bit more progressive on on certain products and environmental concerns and things like that than the states. And um, but there was an opportunity here because. The system is actually just it's superior to the alternative in as much as no glues, no primers. It's way lighter and it comes together, you know, much, much quicker. So there's, you know, I mean, all these labor savings. So there, there was an opportunity here. So 2010, 2009 ish, start bringing in pipe um, and sort of seeding a market in um, in the States and Canada. You know, and then over the last 11 years now, we have expanded considerably and manufacture everything. I mean, 40 yards behind me, like through this back wall or I mean, you can't really see behind the globe. But, you know, <laughs> as the crow behind flies, the world, you know, behind the world over there, CNC <laughs> machine and extrusion lines and, you know, loads of guys on the floor doing all various sorts of welds, uh, you know, an injection molding machine puts our sockets together. Um thermoforming technology. I mean, all this other stuff has, has just been incremental growth and in as much as adding more equipment such that we can produce in-house. And of course we, that, you know, we, we can drive costs down and bring that savings to you, you know, because we make <laughs> domestically all that. So, um, that, that's kind of like the, the growth, um, and, and expansion of central therm ecosystems as a North American, uh, entity. Talking a little bit about the Centrotherm product, uh, I think for a lot of the folks who will be watching this podcast, which would be our uh, wholesalers and our contractor base, uh, I think polypropylene is still foreign to a lot of people versus PVC. I mean, obviously PVC still dominates the market, um, but polypropylene, as we're seeing across the country, is beginning to be enforced from a code standpoint. 
um, because it's safer. It's a safer product to use than PVC. And, and it's important to note that the Centrotherm product is available from 2-inch all the way up to 12-inch for commercial applications as well. And when you get into those larger diameters, this is one of the things that I've really liked about Centrotherm. You get into the larger diameters, the weight of the product is so much lighter, which is right. much safer for the contractor who's in the field. If you're lifting up a piece of 6-inch Schedule 80 that's 10 feet long, that is heavy. Right. It's incredibly heavy. And the Centrotherm product is one third the weight of that Schedule 80. And, you know, these are the features that I think that people need to know about Centrotherm, uh, not just the weight factor of it, but the speed of the installation as well. No glues, no primers. Um, you know, we're having a lot of fun selling it. And I'll be honest with you, when the product was new to us, I didn't get it. I just didn't get yeah. it. Um, it. It didn't resonate initially with me why these features, uh, what the features and benefits of it were. But, you know, just having an elbow that is already pre-pitched. I mean, this is not a 90. You noticed I called it an elbow. It's not a 90. It's an 87 degree pitch on this. I'm so the sad I don't have one with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just pulled out their elbows and I don't Alex, have one. Alex, <laughs> send some samples. Um, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and then uh, while I've got this here, uh, tell us a little bit, you know, it's a gasketed product, so it's it's not going to require the glues and the primers. So I'm going to let Matthew talk a little bit about this, but this is a gasketed material and it's very easy. It uh, helps with the installation. Matthew, take it away. Yeah. The, the days of catching a cheap high from those primers are over. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, sad. For some, that's going to be, you know, a sad day for those who, who like to, you know, they in their venting installations, just like floating a little bit above the, the appliance, right? Just a little, yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, I mean, the trade-off is obviously, uh, worth it, I guess. Uh, you, you, you definitely can, is, yes. You can can on the side while you install the rest of the stuff if you're really <laughs> desperate for those fumes. Uh, but the, the gasket system obviously, um, is, is superior. It, it's it's less components number one it's it's uh, loads safer um you know no corrosive solvents and things like that at all i mean our lubricant that i think uh i think todd you have a bottle i do, around, yes, I do. Right um here. the central serin is just water-based lubricant so um i've seen people use a little soapy water which works just as good too i've seen people use it a little bit which is just you know odd but it does happen uh but it slides right in and that's it it stays um it stays active for a bit as well. So like when PVC glues, it, it gets, it's stuck. You have to cut it out and couple it and all this other stuff. So if you make a mistake, it's it's like kind of a tragedy. Whereas with this stuff, it kind of slides right in. Um, so as you can see Todd doing, he he lubed it up and he, he jammed that 87 right in there, no problem. Um, and I, you know, once you're done, you can fire the appliance right up as well. That's a, kind of a key factor. We We do know that contractors kind of do that, but you're not supposed to. Right, exactly. <laughs> Curing time is a real thing, and it's written in all of the manuals and all of the instructions, right? You should not be blasting that that boiler on as soon as the the, the system is put together. You are supposed to wait 24 hours in some cases. Um, our system is an immediate fire-up situation as well. And because of the way that it goes, you can actually re reactivate the lubricant to, mm -hmm. to – swivel uh and I to can make adjustments exactly to so so the the big factor and i guess the, the key point of this is this is a specific product that that is engineered for the application the intended use is special gas vent is flue gas system right uh, as opposed to using what's on the shelf that's just available that i mean you can make like a little like ladder golf things out of because it's at lows all the time right i mean i have one of those myself that's the best use for pvc aside from dwv um it has a a limited temperature uh that these high efficiency appliances eclipse and that's when it becomes a very dangerous situation uh we are rated up to 230 degrees fahrenheit which is the sweet spot for high efficiency, which is what all of your, you know, your Navians and Renai water heaters, all the, all the high efficiency condensing stuff vents at, and it does, it, it exceeds PVC and CPVC's max operating temperature and steel is overkill, not to mention way harder to install and expensive, mm -hmm. this other stuff, right? So, so we, polypropylene fits right in the sweet spot for high efficiency condensing appliances, goes together quicker, less components, engineered system for the application. And as such, we have a, a, an array of accessories that really outfit the whole thing, test ports and support clamps and termination options. 
uh, appliance adapters that go from, you know, you need a, you need XYZ adapter to go off, uh, off this appliance and a, and a different appliance might need a different one. We, of course, tested all that stuff and we have it uh, at the ready. Um, you know, you mentioned two inch through 12 inch diameter. So really we cover the, 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 a wide array, you know, anything that goes in a home for sure is covered. Mm -hmm. It takes, you know, the massive, massive boilers to eclipse that 12 inch diameter. I mean, when you start getting into, you know, huge industrial boilers and stuff like that, that's when you start needing 16 inch, 24 inch vent and stuff like that. We're not quite there yet. There are some designs to th we're, we're, you know, we, we, it's something that's in the, in the back of our head eventually, but we're not, we're not quite there yet. Um, that would require like crazy investments and, and an extrusion line that's, that's longer than the actual facility that we have here. It takes, uh, I think two to three times the length to heat up and cool down or something like that. Again, I'm not the most technical guy. Um, Thankfully, man, this stuff wouldn't work at all if I was engineer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, but you know, so the larger diameters are something potentially down the line, but two inch to 12 inch really covers, you know, a, a majority of the appliances that are going in these days. And especially you guys in the Midwest, a lot of boilers, um, you know, everybody it's, it's a, it's a cold weather temperature type place. Um, so it's a, it's a nice option to have as opposed to cobbling together a PVC that, Really, if you go to their website, it says don't use this stuff. Exactly. Right. right. Exactly. I mean, they test uh, PVC uh, to fluid standards, water passing through it. They don't test PVC pipe for gas venting. Uh, we conform to UL 1738, which is a venting standard. And that's incredibly important. I would challenge any contractor or wholesaler out there to start paying attention to the outlet side of your high efficient uh, boilers and, and water heaters and furnaces. <clears throat> pardon me. You'll see that color changing on the PVC. And uh, that's the PVC essentially because it's only rated to 140 degree temperature essentially it's beginning to bake again. And with that baking can cause leaching of chemicals into the air. And you know, while you can't ever pinpoint to a certain environmental hazard in your home, it's an added element adding that environmental hazard to your home that could, you know, I hate to be super scary and all that. I don't like to use fear to sell, but you know, it could potentially cause a cancer causing agent in your home. And uh, with with our temperature rating at 230 degrees, you're using a truly safe product. So again, I challenge the contractors, pay attention to the outlet side, see how many vents you see that are changing colors, turning a light brown. That's essentially the PVC reactivating and cooking, if you will, in the home. Our yeah. product won't wow. do that. And there's, right. so there's even more to, I mean, you, there are other uh, warning signs as well. Discoloration is a clear visual one. Uh, sagging is another one as mm -hmm. well. Um, and I mean, ultimately, the PVC doesn't expand or contract the way polypropylene does too. So you see blowout sometimes with where the you know the actual PVC comes apart at the seam, especially if it's wow. kind of a shoddy glue job or something like that. Whereas the polypropylene uh, expands and contracts with the system. I mean, you know, it's not like huge, but it, it's enough sure. to to withstand. Um, you know, those uh, I forget what they're called when when the boiler like kind of turns on kind of aggressively. Um, I, there's a term for it, but that that'll that could blast the PVC system apart um, sure. with enough force. Whereas you know it, it's it's meant to withstand that stuff. Um, yeah, and, and you know credit to you because we also do not like to do fear fear tactics. Mm -hmm. um, it is not um, you know obviously a good thing to for people to die of carbon monoxide poisoning or to be breathing in chlorides that have been leached and stuff like that. But that's the unfortunate reality if a lesser grade plastic is used on one of these appliances that it even at times specifically says do not use exactly so, so why introduce the hazard into the home is really right. my point why you know let's eliminate one one uh, one more item that could potentially cause a health hazard for someone in the home um I, if i could i just kind of want to bullet point um just some of the features and benefits uh, about the centrotherm product that i uh, that i really find uh, the most important and what i enjoy selling is the I'm ease like, of the installation like, yeah, e ease of installation for me, fast and easy. Um, but more importantly, I think the less we have to use glues and primers, especially in somebody's home, right? So now we're doing a tankless installation. There's uh, family members in the home, and now you're busting open primers, you're opening uh, solvent cements, and that stuff is so heavy. And I mean, there's chest warnings on the can, so for inhale warnings. So 
eliminating that, creating a safer installation for the contractor and for the homeowners, huge. Uh, the fact that you can fire the appliance immediately and also on the larger diameter size, it's the weight. I think the weight is huge for the contractors that are doing commercial work that are installing six and eight inch and 10 inch venting. You can literally hold this stuff with no problem. This is this is a six inch piece of, of polypropylene venting and it it weighs virtually nothing, uh, especially compared to a, a Schedule 80 CPVC. So um, uh, no glues, no primers, uh, push fit gaskets, UL 1738. So many features about this product that people need to start paying attention to. And we will see the codes change across the country uh, eventually. This is, I believe, the only thing you can use in Canada. Is that correct, Matthew? Uh, not, not quite. Uh, I mean, there there are listed PVCs as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and Canada, you know, I mean, just like the States, you know, what, what goes on in New Brunswick is very different that goes on in Medicine Hat, you know, mm -hmm. and so, so there's a little bit of discrepancy between province just as there are between states. Now, you know about Europe? Uh, you know, Europe has been, you know, they've been using this. They have their own code. Do we have it written on the pipe? We don't. It's a CE144. Uh, if you have the actually here it is boom I have a catalog handy they use the C E E N one four four seven one dash standard right and T U right. is the testing body um, that's on the, the catalog if you got, if anybody out there wants a catalog just write, write to us as well um, so do you see this becoming code then Matt I mean how when do you see this becoming code in the United States so in your opinion um. It's hard to say because there is certain pushbacks in less progressive areas. Um, the the sad truth is fatality forces the hand. Sure. You know, um, which sure. which I do, you know we can just leave that as it is. Yeah. Because, you know if all of a sudden there was like a defective batch of PVC and like a bunch of fatality, you know I mean things would happen significantly faster. Right. Right? Um, which is the sad truth. <laughs> that, <yeah>. You know. <laughs> right. It is. It is, and it's not obviously something we're rooting for. The way yeah. you know what we what we like to see is training of inspectors, fire marshals, um, code body people, understanding the changes in the appliances and, and thus understanding the, the needs for um, evolution of the vent system as right. well. That's so really more education. That's what we want. A hundred percent. Training yeah. is, is critical here. And, you know, quick shout out to people like ICC and ASPE who are um, really, uh, you know, forward thinking code bodies that that are trying, you know, that that examine all this sort of stuff. Now, right. federal UL 1738. Maybe, maybe never. I mean, there is some places in this country that are the literal wild west, right? So, mm -hmm. so maybe never, um, because not everybody's installing high efficiency. Um, there are places that are that are still that don't even need it, right? I mean, if you're in not too much, you know, no, no homes in Mesa, Arizona, really have like a you know like a big boiler in them. You know what I mean? They sure. but they do have, they do have water heaters, so everybody needs hot water. So that's where it, it sort of becomes a bit. Um, you know, more specific or guided, you know, you have to kind of think about it in a little bit of a wider terms. Now, Arizona is a great tankless market. So, I mean, there's an example. Right, exactly. Um, so federal, not sure. State by state, you're going to start seeing um, a domino effect is, is right. my, my prediction. Well, right? hey, really so, quick, Matthew, before we leave, I, I just wanted to, to just chat just for a second about what do you think, uh, you know, do you see Centrotherm coming up in 2022? What are your, what are you excited about? What are you excited about in 2022? Uh, well, I'm excited about Miami coming up in the short term. That's going to be super, super fun. Um, I can't wait to start unpacking things like the drone footage that we get from the rooftop networking event that we're doing right so we're going to be in you know uh, bienvenidos a miami and we're going to be doing salsa dancing <laughs> or whatever it is down there on the roof with um with all of our influencers and there's going to be a drone flying around capturing all of that stuff too so that's going to be you know like kind of amazing to, to look at right I, mean, I don't think i have ever seen myself in a drone footage so narcissistically speaking i'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Uh, awesome. awesome. So it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, we are going to put that into what uh, another thing that I'm excited for, which is our podcast as well. We're going to filter in some of this footage and some of the stuff to to our, uh, you know, episodes of the Squid Game of our own and add that in. And, you know, 
holistically, I'm pretty excited for Central Therm just in general for a variety of reasons. And those are, we are in like a crazy growth period right now. And while we're experiencing some growing pains, there is a lot of, uh, you know, the, a lot of forest for the trees. I don't think that's the right metaphor. There's a, there's a lot of upside um, c- coming, our, coming our way, which allows us to do fun stuff like this Miami stuff. Um, I am also, so Miami is super far away from British Columbia. It's like the two corner points of North America, basically, right? And some of our British Columbia folks, um, you know, I mean, it's like, geez, 24 hours of travel to get from from Vancouver to Miami or some absurd amount. So some folks that I wanted to um, bring down to Miami can't can't give that time to us, right? And I totally understand it. So we're going to take it to them. And uh, so I'm, I'm ideating a British Columbia Central Therm golf tournament or bowling trip or something like that uh, in the summertime. I'm excited to plan that and go say hello to some folks who, who unfortunately couldn't make it to Miami, who are, who are excited and sad that they can't make it. So do the next best thing is go to them. Um, you know, working work, working with Alex over here um, and, and developing the marketing department in Central Therm. And, and you know, it used to be a marketing department of, of like a half let's say. So I used to be inside sales and marketing. And we got to a point where I just couldn't do the sales anymore if I wanted to focus on the marketing stuff. And now I got to the point where, I, you know, we need another person. And that's my social media manager waiting in the wings over here. Um, and, you know, growing the department out a little further, getting a third person to to manage some other stuff and just to do, we could end up just doing more stuff is uh, you know, I like stuff apparently. Um, <laughs> so uh, there's a lot That's of stuff great. to concentrate. I'm very excited for stuff. Um, yes. Uh, you know. And plus to work with us and working with us, well, um, you know, obviously that's going to be a huge part of 2022. That's a given. It was a big part of 2021. And, you know, I mean, I can't thank you guys enough for what you're doing. And PM is, you know, crushing it right now. I mean, you guys are kicking ass and uh, taking names for your CRM system. <laughs> um, and so, I mean, what you guys are doing is super impressive. And, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for all of the engagement and and ideas. And, you know, just you guys are a super professional organization. And it is it's an honor to work with you guys as well as one of our reps and spread this message of safe venting. It's nice that we have a nice message uh, about it as well. It's not like we're selling, I don't know, a bad product, you know, and, you know, a a lesser grade one. There is a a life safety element to this that makes it kind of easy and natural to talk about in an earnest way, as opposed to kind of a sleazy salesy way. Right. Mm So, um, that's, that is uh, nice as well. So yeah, working with you guys is certainly something that I'm excited for. We, we have a, a, a great family of reps, um, that you are a big part of, and you know our engagement with with you guys is only increasing, just like it is with with the rest of the of North America. Um, I'm I'm excited to try to 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 really expand our our second product line, which is currently only available in in Canada, so it's not relevant to your contractors. But there's work to be done, and there is good opportunity, and we will eventually bring our ventilation system to the states when we when we have certain mechanical codes worked out. Um, but right now we have some burgeoning opportunities in Canada. Um, on this uh, this air distribution system, it's called Air Excellent, and you know, I mean, it's a really nice product, and it, it's it's maybe almost too futuristic for the states at the moment, right? The codes don't understand what it is, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, you know, there's a little catch up on the on the like legislative side before they even understand what that is, before we can even get our, our toes wet in the states. But um, we'll be ready for that when it happens, um, because we are we're making inroads now in Canada. So that's that's another. Um, really exciting thing that we're working on here. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. We are so excited. We are so excited to continue working with you, Matthew. We have just absolutely loved working with Central Therm. We believe in your product. We believe in uh, everything that you guys are doing. So we are so excited to continue that relationship. We are right there with you. We, you know, again, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are great. Um, and uh, just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, we we love it, you know. And actually, you know, keep us on our toes. What are we doing, crappy? That needs to be, you know, honed and and uh, and sharpened and whatnot. That's that's actually the best. One of my favorite things um, from folks like you. And if I could, I'll also shout out uh, Tim Morales and Associates in the Louisiana and Florida Panhandle area, and your Navian brethren at uh, Balfrey and Johnston. Um, you know, FIA and Wales Darby. And, and, you know, I mean, I can't name all of them. We have like 30, 30 reps, but, but we've got like the top flight guys around Pepco in Texas. Um, and, and all of you have 
the premier lines in the industry. And what that allows us to do is to see, um, you know, we get feedback from from you guys as to what works and what doesn't from other lines, bigger lines than us. Um, and we're able to sort of agilely shape what we do based around your advice and your experiences and stuff like that. And it's really kind of a beautiful partnership um, when when it works nicely. And, you know, you guys are one of one of the better ones that fit into our model and get it and and have the personnel that also gets it and responsiveness. I mean, shout out to, to Clark and Ron, who are, I mean, big fans of those guys. I mean, <laughs> I, I, me too. So are we. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, they're wonderful guys to work with. Uh, uh, you know, Ron was supposed to come to, um, I, I, oh, I think he's still coming. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I uh, you know, I mean, I've got to work with those guys personally. And I mean, I don't always get that opportunity. You know, I haven't got up to the Pacific Northwest to work with our, you know, our, Seattle reps, it's like the farthest away for us here, you know, yet um, as much. And, you know, hopefully we change that a little bit in the coming year as well as we have a new West Coast regional sales manager. So we're going to start focusing a little further into the West and expanding and onwards and upwards. And, that's right. You know, for all of us. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you again, Matthew. This has been such a wonderful uh, first podcast for PM and Associates. We are so excited to continue the series all throughout 2022 and beyond. So absolutely. we couldn't have asked for a better first guest guest, someone so seasoned with the coolest background ever. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Matthew, uh, thank you so much for being a part of our first podcast. Uh, the next time we'll probably have a name for our podcast. Absolutely. So. That is going to be so exciting. A big reveal. <laughs> I look forward to it. I'll be watching episode one and then episode two and the rest of them as well. I'll be that uh, sounds great. commenting, uh, you know, on the LinkedIn and say, hey, great job, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Thank we appreciate so it, Matthew. And again, one more time for everyone wanting to know more about Centrotherm and PM and Associates, please reach out to 317-827-0419. And uh, you can reach us on the web at p-massoc.com. And Wonderful. this has been Tiffany Smith and Todd Morgan. And we will talk to you guys next time. Mm -hmm.